Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy Note 10 Plus Exynos chipset mobile phone. This mobile phone will not get update after getting Android 12 update. But if you want like those who like to have a custom ROM, those who like to have updated ported ROM, they can unlock the bootloader and they can flash the custom ROM any they want if the, if the ROM is available for this mobile phone. For example, I have flashed the official Lineage OS 22.2 on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is performing very good, very better than before, like uh, if we compare it with the earliest Lineage OS. The benefit that we will get is to get Android 15 after flashing the ROM. So this is Lineage OS. Let me show the about phone. This ROM is coming with the Android 15, Lineage 22.2. They are the official operating system from the Lineage developers and uh, Android security update is 5th April 2025. N975F is the model number of my mobile phone. The S Pen will not ever work with the AOSP ROM. Yes, you can still just like uh, use it as scrolling it or tapping to select anything, but we cannot take benefits uh, the, the, like the job that is uh, the S Pen is supposed to do. Other things that I check after flashing the ROM, the Bluetooth is working absolutely fine. The wireless connectivity working, network is also working 4g working yes and the signals are coming incoming calls and outgoing calls perfectly working and the bluetooth audio is working perfectly with this rom aosp camera is coming with the mobile phone which working perfectly if you want to record video in 4k resolution you can do that yes the option is available if you want to take pictures you can do that camera is working very fine the control center if you want you can edit the control center by adding or removing the widgets that are provided here yes the flashlight is working i can say that if you want to use this rom as a daily basis you can do that because this rom does not have bugs but the thing is only which doesn't bother me the play store like uh, if you're going to check the device certified or not, the Lineage OS is coming, device is not certified like in every Lineage OS. If you want to make it device certified, then you need to root the ROM and uh, install the modules. So about the VOLTE, I am not pretty sure that it will be working because Samsung have some policy like having a custom ROM, VOLTE mostly does not work with the custom ROM on the Samsung mobile phone. The fingerprint scanner is working very fine. There is no face unlocking. The dialer that coming with the ROM is actually not a Google dialer. It is AOSP dialer and uh, working fine. But if you would like to have Google dialer, then you need to download it from the Play Store and you can change with it. Same way, messaging application is there, which is coming with the default with the ROM also, now the AOSP messaging application. If you want, you can download it from the Play Store. If you want to change it with the Google messaging application. The software that you can see on my mobile phone straightly downloaded from the play store and i do not have any issues with the banking application because the rom is actually not rooted if the rom is not rooted the banking application will not have any issues you are running it or opening it on this rom those who have this mobile phone and want to have a change on the mobile phone like uh, using a fastest rom which have a, a good battery life then go for this rom try it out and this is the official release once we flash this rom official rom with the official recovery the updates will be coming now if you want to know how to flash the rom you need to watch the further video and uh, if you are getting help from my videos do not forget to subscribe my channel and also like the video comments there in comment section if you want to ask anything now those who like to have this rom then you must know that we have to unlock the bootloader first to get the custom rom because we cannot 
flash any custom ROM or any custom image file having a lock bootloader. You need to charge the mobile phone battery. You need to save all the internal storage data because the data will be formatted. In case if your mobile phone is on one UI and if you have logged in your Samsung account then you need to sync your Samsung account and must remove the Samsung account before flashing the custom recovery. Same way sync your Google account and remove it to avoid issues after flashing the ROM. Then go to security and privacy and uh, uh, turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe. And your mobile phone is supposed to have a latest One UI ROM like Android 12. If your mobile phone is having old firmware One UI, do not try to flash this ROM build because the ROM may not get boot. First update your mobile phone to stock firmware to the latest version then flash the custom ROM. Power of the mobile phone if you have done everything that I just showed. So this is the official website of the Lean HOS from where we can download the official release. So we have to download the ROM file. You can see that Lean HOS 22.2 whatever current latest version available just go for that download the rom from by clicking here yes we have to download the boot image file also by clicking here then download the recovery file recovery.img by clicking here so here is my downloaded folder where i have downloaded all the files the twrp recovery file this is the eternity rom twrp audio pack for the n975f because I have N975F, so I have the, I will flash the TWRP recovery first, then I will flash the uh, boot image and the recovery image. Just remember, do not try to flash the lineage ROM file, official ROM file with the help of TWRP. It will get issues. Flash the ROM, the lineage OS with the provided official recovery only. This TWRP is just for to flash it first and then flash the recovery file of the Lean HOS. Mind the gaps also, yes, we have to download and uh, ARM64 platform mind gaps we have to download. Links are all provided in my video description. Well, I have downloaded the ePatch routing file also. I did not root the ROM right now, but I will do it later on and I will upload another video regarding this. So first of all, we extract the platform tools. Then copy the lineage ROM file and mind the gaps file from the downloaded folder and uh, then open the extracted folder of the platform tools and paste both file here. Now rename the file that I have just copied. Click select the file, press F2, erase it, just type the name ROM and press enter key. ROM.zip then rename the mind the caps also, select the file, press F2, give the name GAPPS, press enter key. So the file is supposed to be gaps.zip. Now go back and extract Odin. Then open the extracted folder of the Odin. Double click the Odin file to open it. Click OK on this pop up window. And then on Odin, click any slot. I will go for AP. Then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will select the TWRP recovery file by double clicking on it. Now coming back towards the mobile phone. The mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off and the mobile phone is supposed to have an unlock bootloader. You need to check the other side of the cable. Data cable must be connected with computer and use a good quality of data cable. Boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key when connect the cable with the mobile phone. A warning screen will get appears on your mobile phone. Release both keys. On the warning screen, press the volume up key to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Now here the Odin screen, the KG state must show checking. If the KG state showing not checking something else, then the recovery will not get flash. So it must show checking. So on the computer screen, the Odin detected the mobile phone because I installed already the Samsung Android USB driver. On Odin, click options, untick the auto reboot, then go back to log and then click start to start flashing the TWRP recovery on the mobile phone. When done, definitely you will see pass message. Exit the Odin, go back to downloaded folder, 
the mobile phone still booted into Odin mode. Let me press the volume up key to light up the screen. Now we have to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery, TWRP recovery from the Odin screen. Just check the cable must be connected. Do not disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone. Press and hold the all three keys, volume up key, volume down key and power key. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. Okay, then when mobile phone re uh, like show Samsung logo or vibrates, then release the power key. Okay, uh, the Samsung logo appears and do not release the volume up key and after five to six seconds release the volume up key also so the mobile phone will definitely show twrp screen soon swipe to allow the modification now check the storage if it is encrypted we have to decrypt the storage just the storage is encrypted go back to main screen tap wipe tap format data type y e s over here then tap here Okay, done. Go back to main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. Yes, yeah, no operating system installed. Are you sure? Yes, you just swipe to reboot. Swipe to allow modifications. And this time, the storage will get decrypted and uh, the internal storage will pop up on the computer screen. I got the internal storage and you can see that the internal storage is uh, showing on the computer screen having a proper form. Now go to the downloaded folder and copy the boot image file and recovery file from the downloaded folder of the computer hard drive. Copy it and then come to the internal storage of the mobile phone. Paste both file on the internal storage of the mobile phone. When done, then on the recovery screen, tap install and tap install image. First, select the boot image by tapping on it and then select boot on this screen and then swipe to confirm flash. Done. Now go back once again. Go back once again. Now select the recovery image file by tapping on it and then scroll down. Select the recovery over here and then swipe to start, start flashing. When done, then go back to main screen. Tap reboot and tap recovery. Yes, uh, again, no OS install does not matter. Just swipe. Now the mobile phone will boot to custom recovery, but this time the official Lineage OS recovery will appear. I got the uh, Lineage OS recovery. First thing first, tap factory reset, then tap format data factory reset, format data. When done, then format cache partition, yes. Then go back to main screen, tap apply update, tap apply from ADB. The phone is booted into ADB mode or I can say side load mode. On the computer screen, open the extracted folder of the platforms tool, then right click on CMD, left click on run as administrator. Click yes on the next pop-up window, the command window will open. On the command window, start flushing the ROM. Type adb space site load space ROM dot zip press enter key. Transferring of the ROM will get started and uh, the flushing will also be done at the same time. Now it will take a time so we have to wait. The ROM file got flash. Definitely you will see install completed with status 0. Now tap advance on the mobile phone screen then tap reboot to recovery. Let the mobile phone boot into custom recovery once again to flash the caps. Once again tap apply update when real age OS recovery appears on the mobile phone. Apply update and apply from ADB mode. On the computer screen type the command adb space side load space gaps dot zip press enter key same thing will start it the transferring of the gaps file will be started and at the same time it will get flash also if you see like uh, signature verification failed on the mobile phone during flashing the gaps no worries just tap yes Caps flushing done, definitely will see install completed with status zero. I am done from the computer and uh, disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and just tap reboot system now. So the mobile phone will start booting to the Lineage OS 22.2 having Android 15 and the first boot will not take that much time.
didn't took that much time. First boot completed, I will complete the setup screen. Now here, if you want to stick with the Lineage OS, then put a tick sign, update Lineage recovery alongside with the OS, and then continue. Things done very smoothly. I got the Lineage OS ROM on my mobile phone. We'll go to settings, then we'll go to about phone. Lineage OS 22.2, Android 15, Android security update, April 5th, April 2025. Yes, I got the basement here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do not forget to like the video and we'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.